Hi, I'm Daniel Musgrove, and it's my honor and privilege to bring to you Musgrove Music Gospel Hour. Welcome to another exciting episode of Musgrove Music Gospel Hour, where last weekend, you would not believe where we were. We were at the Memorial Fest Gospel Concert. Sasha, did we have an awesome time oh, or what? it was great. And to tell you the truth, actually, I wasn't going to go. But because of Mr. Musgrove, your husband, <laughs> and I wanted to come out. But I did not regret a moment of it. I mean, I enjoyed it. Apostle was there. And, oh, man, she threw me off. She was so excited, full of energy. I it was know. pretty. It was great. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I know. And with that being said, we get to mingle with so many celebrities who are out there just as humble as they come yes. just to minister to the people and minister in song you know the word of God and if you take a look at um, some of the interviews that we had here's one where we saw oh yes Brenda Solomon from New Essentials man guys listen to what Brenda had to say hey guys look who is in the house Brenda Solomon from New Essential one of our awesome sponsor so sister Sol um, Brenda, you're here to give what? Jesus a big praise tonight? Always. Not just tonight, but every night. But I'm especially here to see my friend Danny Musgrove perform. I've been told that all his artists is done performing, and I miss the show. Hopefully next time I'll be sooner. But a star like you don't need to go on first. You need not to open no show, but to be right there in the center of everything. Hopefully next time I'll be there in time. Look forward to enjoying the rest of the show. Amen. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. I love Miss Brenda Solomon. She's yes, totally amazing. Yes, yes, yes. And look who else we run into. I know. Straight from the heart of Jamaica. That's my country. Hey, hey, all Jamaicans. <laughs> Beautiful voice, man. I enjoyed her. Amen. She had this. She has this lovely voice. Subtle, nice. Just who takes you there? I believe she'll do great in worship songs. Yes. Did you enjoy her? I did. I even said to her backstage. I said, "Wow, you're doing country western. Go for you, girl." Amen. <laughs> So let's see what she has to say. Hi, well we have here Kimalik. She just performed and she did a great job. I enjoyed your beautiful voice that God has given you. And I just want to ask you this, when did you start singing? I've been singing in front of um, a lot of persons. It's a blessing because you know, so lost souls are out there who needs Jesus, yeah. and this is one of the best ways to do it. It's actually put it in music, and it's not just about the music, but to listen to the word of what yeah. the, the song is actually saying, yeah. and that's one of the best things. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful feeling, blessing people's hearts. For interviewing me, and God bless you too, and thank you. Yes. <laughs> That was so amazing, it amazing was. Uh, worship. I love our voice. Lord, give me a little bit of whoo. <laughs> <laughs> well, glory, glory. Remember I yes. said I am talented. <laughs> Praise Jesus. That's <laughs> right. I'll be able to sing. But I just want to, I, I, I'm having a great moment right now. Quite interesting. Yes. I met Sister Sasha. And guess what my name is? Sasha, Sasha. That's double Sasha, double, double trouble, devil. <laughs> devil. <laughs> Anyhow, we had a great interview with her. It yes. was quite interesting. You know, when I saw young lady Sasha with Sean Paul singing dance all music. And now look at her singing for oh, the Lord. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Rock straight out of Jamaica. And two men, the Jamaicans doing their thing. Giving it's glory sure unto God. Well. I'm just loving it tonight. What you think about Sasha tonight? Did you I, see the show? I did. I loved her and she's so humble. I love her spirit. Yes. But let me not take away all of it, you know? That's Listen right. for yourself what Sister Sasha had to say. All right, good evening. We have your Sister Sasha and I'm Sister Sasha and this is Cardell. <laughs> all right. We are in the building. We're on the mission. We're on the field for the Lord, on the back of field. <laughs> That's right. So I thank God for you. I enjoy you tonight. And you did a good job, yes. <laughs> you did a good job. And I know that we're going to do enough work in ministry. Oh, yes, I'm ready. I'm so ready. Can I tell you? I'm so glad. A double Sasha for the devil here. That's it. And a double Sasha. <laughs> That's right. That's double right. Sasha, right? <laughs> My sister out here, you know, we're on the battlefield, definitely. Amen. All yeah. the way. All, All the, the way. way. All 
all the way. So we thank you for sharing the time with us. And thank you for sharing on Musgrove Music. Musgrove. Well, this is Sister Sasha and I have to big up and bless up Musgrove Music. Big up every time. And look who I got the privilege to introduce. Or not introduce, but to interview as right, well. Right. Mr. Crazy Man Peninsulin. Oh my <laughs> God. He just have me laughing. But when he make you laugh, it's laughing in Jesus, you know? Yes. So yes. Let me tell you something. Just take a quick look at what Penicillin had to minister. He did his own ministry on stage, but listen what he had to say. Look who we have in the house, Mr. Penicillin. Woo, woo, woo. Oh my God. Oh. Mr. Breastleg and Time. Mr. gave me my opportunity to be in his video as well. All yeah. right. You mean your boss? <laughs> yes, sir. Actor us. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> So, Mr. Peninsulin, what are you going to be doing for us tonight? Sing. What are you going to be singing? Just sing. I'm not But I tell you about, Mr. Peninsulin, yeah. every time I see you, you know, you make me laugh, not just in your song, but you're a very good actor too, you know. I hope you do some acting tonight. I tell nobody all of them something, they will call me idiot. No, man. Not from my eyes. I mean, they're going to call me idiot too. Me never want to tell you that on TV. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but me good to go. I'm here just to just enjoy God and just do what they do and try to see what the people I work with. Amen. So just tell, give our viewing audience just a few um, ministry for a moment, because I know that you're also minister. Um, what you say, do? Minister to our viewing audience. I wonder the amount of something if you tell the viewing audience. You understand the amount of something. I go look at my head and say which one I do. Then too much. But just remember, if you not save, you not save. And if I know God, you know the wrong part of the, of the ball plate. You understand? Knowing me from where me do I come from, way down, let me talk good. I was coming from far in the devil's pit, but now watch me. I'll side with me with my jacket. My boots in a guard, turn up. We also had second chance. Uh, I grabbed him right after he came out of stage, so therefore he didn't even get a chance to catch his breath. But because of such a humble man that he is, he said, no, go ahead. This is all about Jesus. I even asked him, where did the second chance come about? But I'm not going to explain it. You listen for yourself. Hear what second chance had to say. Go, go, go. Look who we have in the house. Awesome name. Why did you choose that name? Well, actually, I didn't choose the name, but we give God glory. The name shows me. Well, praise God. And how is that? How did that come about, sir? Well, to be honest with you, I was on my way to Gloryland and I met the devil on the way. And he convinced me to backslide. And so I backslid and followed him for a while. Upon my redemption, in the middle of a club, the Holy Ghost showed up in the middle of a club in New York and called me and said, son, it's time to come home. And when I went back home, the pastor looked at me and said, boy, you need a name change. You have gotten a second chance. They wanted to call me the prodigal son, but that name was already taken. So they said, we're going to call the second chance. And so the name stuck. Well, praise God. And that's why you can say that you wish somebody saw with a catch a fire tonight. Absolutely. I tell you, I see that some of us saw catch a fire tonight. And yes. that is just the blessing right there. Indeed, indeed. And we're grateful for this opportunity to be at Gospel Fest 2015. It's definitely a pleasure. I think this is my 12th round with Brother Gary. So, definitely been going for a while. This one is by far one of the greatest um, by standards. And we are grateful for that. Amen. So second chance, if you just give Musgrove Music a shout out. Well definitely big up to Musgrove Music. We know the CIA behind it. Is it CIA? Or the management behind it is Mr. Daniel himself alongside yourself. And so we are grateful for Daniel Musgrove and Musgrove Music. Give thanks and praise, enough blessings. I also had a moment to grab Brother Gary. Brother Gary is one who had put on the Memorial Gospel Fest. It's just all about Jesus, you know? it's not about Brother Gary, it's about Jesus. And let me say thank you to Musgrave Music, who have been a blessing to Brother Gary Ministry. And let me tell this to you, everybody tell somebody who don't know how to sing and want to sing to come and be a part of Musgrave TV and music because they are the best in making music. Well, praise Jesus. And you hear from Brother Gary himself because this is a man who know music, he know business. If you should just turn around and see all the great artists that he has put together just to praise in Jesus. And I've heard Brother Gary say that he has served the devil so long so he know how to fight the battle and how to recognize him. So Brother Gary, just give the audience a quick word to minister to their soul. 
Listen, I always tell my people this. It's good to be a black sheep. Back in back home they call us black sheep, but Jesus called us the stone that the builder refused become the head cornerstone. I talk, they talk bad about me, they say bad about me, but Jesus say, Great, look at the crowd. Out, peace, my God. Amen, amen. Guess who was there? Sister Novlet, under the blood. And this is a woman who knows the meaning of staying under the blood. Listen to what Sister Novlet had to say when she ministered to us that night. <laughs> Well, friends and family, once again, She's we're awesome. still here we're at the Gospel Fest 2000. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to be under the blood. And those that are listening right now to the sound of my voice, I want to let you know if you're not under the blood, get under the blood of Jesus. Because when I see the blood, he will going to pass over you. So remember tonight or wherever, wherever you are, please, I begged you, stay with the Lord, stay under the blood. And I'm blessed to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. God bless. Jabez was also in the house. So Pastor Jabez, give us a word to your um, to our audience uh, to minister to their soul this afternoon, sir. Well, I'm just happy to be in, in, in Miami. Um, you know, I came up this morning, so I'm a bit tired, but you know, God is good and I'm here and I'm having a great time here in Florida. And I know I spoke to you before and I know you yourself, you have the vision of doing a gospel fest in Jamaica where it's not just in crowd, in indoors, but it's outdoor to the whole public because we know it's all about kingdom business. Oh yes, uh, because you know, right now the gospel is ripe in Jamaica. Ready to work, ready to work. Amen. Well, Jabez, we appreciate you here. And as always, your song, your voice, the anointing that comes with you, it bless my soul. And thank you for stopping by a Musgrove Music Gospel Corner. Well, big up Musgrove Music Gospel Corner. Yeah, man, everything live. Jabez, and thank you for having me. God bless so much. All right. Amen. Oh, yeah, you know what? I did see. Didn't you have a new album launch? No, not yet. We have some new singles that we're releasing, but very soon, the next album will be coming out. Oh, I must be seeing things in the future. <laughs> Amen. All right, okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, God bless. Papa San, the man. Mm. Pastor Tyrone. Yes, indeed. Oh, my God. Uh, I enjoy Papa San. You know what I most like about Papa San? He's very humble man of God. Take a look at the screen. I have here with us tonight Papa San, a great Jamaican artist who is singing for the Lord now. Papa San, welcome. What are you going to minister to us tonight? Well, just old album, new albums, just what the people definitely look forward to, and some new songs to introduce to the people just to let them know that Jesus Christ still saved. Amen. Still well, you know, and it's a blessing tonight. Amen. Definitely. You know, it is such a beautiful thing knowing that you used to sing the reggae art songs, but now you're singing and praising and shouting for Jesus. It's a beautiful thing, too, knowing that you're now a pastor, yes. saving soul for the kingdom. Yes, definitely. You know, whatever you have to do for Christ, you have to just do it because we can do all things through Him. You Amen. know what I mean? And He gave us the grace and the, you know, the strength to do what He calls us to do. So, you know, preaching is part of the ministry, singing is part of the ministry. So I just get myself prepared and just keep going. Amen. So I see you're doing the ultimate evangelistic work out there, you know, spreading it through music. Everything and every song that you're singing, every dance that we dance is about winning our soul to Christ. Amen. That's, We're gonna... the, that's the main goal, you know. Amen. We thank God that you are so humble. I remember listening to you before and you say how oh, you put away all your records. Yes. And I've been listening to you for years. My dad is still in, you know, producing the music. And I thank God for you that you made that transition, you yes. know, and you're ministering and what you're doing now is eternal. Yes. You know, before you're doing this temporal, temporary stuff, but now it's for eternal life. And I know your great reward also will be in heaven. Yes. So all the best in ministry and I know you're gonna do more and more yes. and more open doors for you. So we yes. thank God for you tonight. Yes. I am blessed, you know, and I'm privileged to be used by God. Amen. You know, and um, it's no bit you can't have a better job than this job. It's, a, it's the highest level of um, work you can find. You know, and God is amazing. And even even if, even in the music industry, I was saying to someone the other day, you know, it's a good thing when you make a sacrifice to do music. It's different. You find more people go towards the circular music and then in gospel, you know, I heard a young man say, I want to do R&B that I make more money. But for you, I thank God. In gospel music, you have to be sold out to God, stay humble. Definitely. And I thank God for you for that. And he will still open doors because exactly. we walk by faith. He's a provider. You, know, you have to just give and take. I know, say, the business is young and uh, you have to just give and take with people and just keep 
going from there. God will provide. Yes, and our father is a millionaire. We know him, him have all things, him have all the money, has everything. It's just a faith, the and he open more doors. The hurt is the last and the fullest there up and right. they that dwell therein, so he won everything. So we see you next week. See you there.